Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to newer Super Mario Bros. We we are back to the Metal Islands of Metal. Alright. We're going to Pint Size Plains again, and... Did we get the alternate exit last time? I do not believe so. So we are looking for an alternate exit. I will cut you guys into where I found that. Maybe. Maybe you guys should join me for the ride. We'll see. I don't know if there's things that might... Uh, ah, but, yeah, things like that happen, but then the power-up's still there, so it's all good. Okay, let's not take the pint-sized areas, maybe. Oh, what? I don't I don't remember running into any th firepower. You're supposed to work there. Wait, oh yeah, that's that thing where you can't have more than, like, two fireballs on the screen at the same time. I was, like, mashing the one button there, intending to kill that guy, but it just didn't want to work with me. Okay, my first thought is take the power block... Or drop it, so that works too. Wait, do we have to? Um, okay. Let's not get killed by fish. I guess we have to go through the little pint-sized area here. Alright. Oh, God. Fish. Let's just be friends here, alright? Alright, fish. Okay, let's not be angry green fish that chase you. At least it's not like those ones that, like, legitimately chase after you without giving up. Actually, well, they chase after you until they fall asleep if you get far enough away but like these guys kind of just like pivot themselves in your direction all right oh, maybe there was a pipe there at like the bottom that i just didn't go after um all right guys how's everybody doing today i'm still in the same recording session so this wait a second maybe breaking that's not a good thing maybe breaking that's just not a good thing man ah uh, i'm really good with time management today Actually, I am good with time management for work, but not for Mario. Come on! Wait, why are you spin jumping? I barely moved the controller there. I barely even moved the controller there. That's, this better not be a thing. This is a new control. Actually, I don't even know. This might even be the controller I just bought today. Either way, it's been used, like, either twice or first time it's being used. Okay, wait, let's be, let's be, oh, man. Okay! Thank God for wall jump. No, I want to. I want. I want to. Uh, okay. And is it worth it? Is it even worth it? Yep. Yeah, we need 64 lives so we can go. Oh, there we go. No, I, you know I'm not quoting it. I'm not that crazy today. All right. Some of you might know where I'm going with that, but I, I don't. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy quoting that. Wait. Fuck. Do I want to go through there? You know I'm just gonna pop out on the other side, anyways. Okay, we're going back to the running on chompers, so. But I should say, these chompers are actually justified because they're attached to the ground. One thing a lot of those Mario hacks got wrong on Super Mario World that were bad. Okay. <laughs> this is by far, this is by far not a bad hack, so. Uh, what am I saying? I, I cannot speak today. This is by far a good hack. Should I have been running to the right there? Maybe that would have been secretive. Ugh, I don't even know. When I'm when I'm missing things like this, it's, uh... Why is... I'm not sure if that was a game making a noise go wrong there, but... Or if it was just my headphones, because they do that, but, uh... Wait, wait a second. Okay, wait, we got the normal exits. So where's the regular one? It's not worth dying over, but apparently it is. Alright, we just really want to be at 64 lives. Alright, I'm gonna... Jeez. I guess I could just, like, continue on to Troopa Shell Track. Wow. Yeah, you know what? That sounds like a cool level, so I'm going there. Frick, what time did I start this recording at? Uh, whatever. Troopa Shell Track. Is this going to be, like, Mario Kart suddenly? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Wait, wait, hang on a second. Dude, are we going to have to ground pound these guys? No, we won't. Oh, my God. You can't even see Mario. Dude. Alright, now you can kind of see more. Okay, I don't want to... Oh, wait. Wait a second here. Wait a second here. Boom. Nope, not working. Dude, you can go inside the shells. I love this. This is awesome. Right now. Okay, well, I, that kind of does... That's kind of weird, but whatever. Not a big deal at all. It kind of like shows the inside of this. Well, you know, if you're going on top of the shells, then you can tell that you can go underneath them. So, it, it works in that way. But, well, I don't know, what I was getting weirded out about, which I shouldn't be, is, like, the fact you can see through there when you're up here. Wait, can you see through there when you're up here? No, okay. Well, it, it does, it, it does help, because then you know you can go through, so. 
Hang on a second. We need to grab our propellers. Go through here. Alright. Uh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. What is inside these shells? I do not know. Oh, there's a Goomba. Oh, no. Hiding Goombas. Hiding Goombas, everybody. Alright. Let's not run into any more hiding Goombas. Oh. Uh, ah. Right, we are back. Sorry about that. I was contemplating just, uh... I don't know, being done for the night, it's pretty late, so, but, um, I don't know why I was really contemplating that, let's just play, it's, it's fun to play, I, I, I don't get to play video games that often anymore, which really sucks, so, <laughs> at least in recent, um, few weeks anyways, hopefully that changes, but it's not looking to change for the coming week at least, this weekend I'll get to play plenty at least, alright, I miss it though, for sure, uh, star coin up here. All right, whoa! Whoa, buddy, whoa, buddy, whoa, buddy. Let's, you, you see, let's, let's, Mar Mario, okay, let's contemplate this. If you're at the end of a little, um, thing, whatever it may be, platform of sorts in a platformer game, when I hit the jump button, you should jump. This isn't even on a, like, um, HD TV, so there shouldn't even be any, like, input lag. That's, that's the thing. And why I'm kind of, like, against playing any, like, HD games right now. Well, it's because I love my TV, frankly. I've got the nicest, um... Jeez, I, I forgot. I think they call them CRT or something fancy now. But basically, it's a box TV. It's, like, one of the latest ones probably made by Sony. And it's just... It was handed down by the family. Uh, I, I still remember when we got this TV, man. It was, it was great. It was, like, wow. 27 inches, holy crap. Now you're, everybody's like out there saying, holy crap, 27 inches, that's average. That's like the normal, that's small, even. But yeah, back in the day, it was just amazing. And the fact that I have this TV now, it's just like, you think back to that, it's just like, dude, dude, I have that TV, holy crap. But anyways, it's, okay, little, little known facts after just about dying there. Um... HDTVs playing on your red, white, and yellow um, general hookups there, they will create a bit of input lag depending on the TV. It, it, yeah, it, it's not a fun time, <laughs> basically. Uh, I feel like a coin's gonna be in one of these, but I don't have any means of defending myself, and a Koopa can just jump out of nowhere. Like so. And like so. Like freaking so. God, let's get out of there. Okay, or that was a Goomba. Anyways. Um, yeah. If you play an HD, like on an HD TV, and you have your red, white, and yellow hookups, it will have some input lag, and it will cause you to not be as good of a gamer as a result. So I really like having my TV for that reason. That, and I play a lot of like standard definition games. Anyways, it really, it really doesn't bother me, frankly. So, but I know if if I were to like, like I mean, I'm contemplating buying a Wii U, but it's like if I'm gonna record stuff on that, it has to be in HD. Like, I mean, we use an HD console. So, and I don't have an HD capture card either at, at the moment. Not that I'm against buying one. It's the fact that um, I have to record in my room and I like the TV I have for that. I don't really want to replace it, if that makes sense. Anyways, done talking about my TV. Ah, we didn't get the one up. That's what I get for talking about my TV. Alright. Now that we've had a Mario time, let's uh, go onward and forward to find out what Shell Track Trooper Track. Frick, what was it called? T <laughs> it took me. I'm sorry, it's not like you remember the names of levels all the time. Trooper Shell Track. Little question out there for you guys. Without looking at it, what is the title of this video? Also, I did not mean to hit that button. We'll be right back. Yes, now that we are back. Little question for you guys. Without looking at the thing, what is the title of this video? Other than the generic, um, you know, you'd expect it to be new, newer Super Mario Bros. What is the little caption I put beside, or whatever you want to call it? See, see without looking, you probably don't know. It's just, it's just, it's something there, and it's nice to have, but you don't always think about it. Basically, this is what I'm getting at with these, the same thing with these level names. Clever as they are. It's just like you don't always remember them in the moment, I guess. I don't know. Could just be me, I could just be crazy, but, uh, in the moment... I don't think I'm crazy generally, I hope, but, um, and in, when I'm playing games, sometimes, just, just, just sometimes, anyways, let's go through pipes, that's what, that's, that's what you do in Mario, you see, 
You know, you know, we gotta be Captain Obvious here because oh god, scrolling, scrolling fish level, great. Okay, you know what? That's I don't even know why I'm saying that. I don't have an issue with water levels myself, frankly. I guess yeah, they're root back to Yoshi's story. They're a bit hard to talk through, but I don't, I don't, for some for some reason, just generally how it's going today, I don't think I'll have any trouble with that. It's really something that you don't uh frick. Okay. Something you don't really understand too much when you're just like watching these, I guess. I mean, when you really want to do it yourself, you. I, I mean, a lot of people don't, I guess. Probably, but, um, you really gotta have concern for, like, how your commentary is. And I know I get, personally, I get, like, really obsessed with, like, okay, it's gotta be good, it's gotta be good. I haven't released a few starts of Let's Plays, actually, that were gonna be upcoming. And now, currently, I'm not even following what I said I was gonna do. I, I honestly scrapped both those games I was gonna play for now. It's <laughs> oh inconsistency is great, but yeah, it's uh, I don't even remember what the start of my point was. Right, water levels are hard to talk through, but um, something that you don't really think about when you're just watching Let's Plays is yeah, it it, it really a lot of things factor into how your commentary is. I guess sometimes you just I don't know. Sometimes you can do it. Sometimes you can. It's just roots down to that basic fact. And I mean, I've unfortunately had to release some videos I feel like weren't my best. And like I said, with me, I get like really obsessed with it. It's got to be like top notch almost for my commentary, which I've already released. I don't feel like my commentary on the start of this Let's Play was top notch. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it was good enough, I guess. But I mean, I would rather if I had the chance get, to do it better, I guess. Anyways, we, we, we talk a lot about things that aren't related to the game on the show, but you know, that's rooting back to our original point, what water levels are for when you're doing a Let's Play, because there isn't really too much going on to, you know, freak out about or just kind of react to, I guess. Like, uh, I, I'm just noticing now he is recycling some songs, which, do not take that as a bad thing, anybody out there. It's not a bad thing at all. I've really and frankly been impressed with the fact that he's come up with so many songs. Because, frankly, you go through regular Mario games and they have like, what, 8 to 12 songs for the whole game? And they just, okay, 120 levels, they use the same songs over again? Not that they're bad songs or anything. It's just, it's really cool to see him going out there and using um, a lot of new songs on just new levels. Like, all the freaking time. That's great. So, and just the variations on like the world map hubs and stuff for each world you're in, that's kind of cool, so definitely kudos for that. Alright, and we're jumping on the f can we actually, wait, hang on, hang on, if we can, if we can conquer my almighty awfulness of these freaking things, perfect, okay. Oh, we missed the star coin this level, dang it. I think we did last level too, actually. Not not quite sure to be honest. All right. Oh uh, no, that I, I was thinking it was a regular loading screen. Oh hey, we have a castle next. Oh hey, we have a castle. Wait, is this world four? No, this is world B. Oh, this is an alternate world. Okay, formidable fortress. Oh, I, I'm I don't even know what to expect here. I'm really looking forward to it, and so should you guys on the next episode of Newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. All right, thank you guys for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos, comment if you wish, of course, and we'll see you next time. This has been Catalyst of Blank. and thanking you for watching.